tropical storm Marty. We'll be watching it this week, but it looks like it's going to stay over water and eventually actually track to the west. And for us here in Arizona, I know we typically watch the eastern Pacific, and especially as we approach that month of September, when things start to get more active and we start to plug into some of that moisture sometimes that impacts our rain chances. Not going to be the case with this one. It will stay over water, and it looks like that monsoon moisture and that moisture rather will not be influencing our state. So instead, we're looking at dry conditions here as we kick off the week, and in fact, it's looking storm free all week long for Valley, but low humidity too to start the week before that humidity clearing out by tomorrow morning back over water and then continuing to push further to the east and away from the northeastern U.S. So we'll continue to watch it, of course, but again, it is starting to weaken and move further too. Now, not to say that we're going to track any storms that are going to be moving our way, but the reason humidity is going up slightly over the next few days and through the weekend uh, prompting those storm chances is because we've got some more activity in the tropics and we may pull in some of that moisture. We've been watching Tropical Storm Marty. That one's staying well over water and not approaching our state, but that'll start to send a little bit of humidity our way. Moisture goes up a little bit. Then we're watching another area of potential development south of Mexico, and that one also staying over water. But again, we may pull in a little bit of that moisture to enhance that storm potential. Not a lot, but at least a slight chance for thunderstorms this weekend into early next week here in the valley. And for the high country, those storm chances while going up just in two to a category one, even category two hurricane by Saturday evening. So this is just as it's approaching that Louisiana coastline. We're talking winds at about 100 miles an hour. So again, this is Saturday evening, late evening. But I just again have some doubts as to whether that game's actually going to happen with the track of this storm, putting it somewhere along the Louisiana coastline. Either way, those stronger winds will extend further out and will certainly be an impact to that game uh, in some way or another. This storm then could become a Category 3 hurricane before it makes landfall somewhere again right along that Louisiana coastline. You can see that cone of uncertainty still includes spots like New Orleans, but also areas further to the west. And then this storm continues to move to the north before eventually weakening back to a tropical storm and then tropical depression by early next week. We're going to be watching it closely in Kentucky before it moves across New England and back over water. It is continuing to weaken, though. Some good signs there. Unfortunately, while the winds are going down, the rainfall is still going to be a significant factor, especially across the state of Mississippi. We're talking an additional four to six inches of rain in some spots in that orange and in the red, even up into Tennessee and parts of Kentucky getting some heavy rain, too, 